안녕 하시 이렇게 여러분 청룡 연극 아지시입니다. Hello and welcome back to a new PPT bomb game. This time a very fun bomb game. This is my uh, watermelon game, which I actually made about five years ago, I think. And recently I've completely revamped and improved it. The reason I decided to remake it is because it has been so popular in the classroom. So let's get straight into it. So there is a video embedded into this PPT. And it is this watermelon song. Uh, you can use it as motivation, or you can actually practice singing the song as part of the lesson if you want to. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and skip through that. And this is the main game. So at the start of the PPT, um, it's going to explain the point system. There is one point each for uh, the cute uh, watermelon characters here. There's also some minus points. Uh, each time it's it's minus three points and there is a minus five points in one of the choice slides as well and there's also a choice slide I'll explain how to use this a little later and there's of course <laughs> change points good so the last one here the watermelon bomb <laughs> which has got an animated gif which comes after the first uh, initial picture and lots of fun music Okay, let's get straight into the game. Try and keep this nice and brief today. So I'm gonna to choose number one. So this is a template. Very easy to put in your question and writing your answer, okay? And add a picture as you want for whichever subjects that you are teaching. Click on the green rectangular box or press the spacebar key and then the points will come up. So on number one, Question number one, there are five points. In the bottom right hand corner, there is a small cute uh, watermelon character. Just click on her. She will take you back to the main screen. Now number two, same again, question and answer. Click on the green rectangular box. Now this time, what you do is click on the character or on the color that's around the character and click on the character for the green one, for example. There are seven points here. Click on the blue with the character. There are five points and click on the yellow with the character. There are six points. Uh, in some of the other slides, there are actually some bombs as well as points. And there are also some minus points in there as well. So click on the character in the bottom right hand corner. That will take you back to the main screen. Uh, I'm gonna choose number eight this time. So question and answer, click on the green rectangular box, and uh, this time minus three points. I recorded my voice for this game and um, changed the pitch. Uh, that's what the voice that you're hearing is, uh, my strange, uh, cute watermelon voice. And I'm gonna choose number nine. Number nine, question and answer and click on the green rectangular box. This is the change points. I let this run through. So there's an animated GIF after the first dancing watermelons. And there's another animated GIF with the dog there. And then it will go back to the original uh, GIF. So the writing that says change points, click on the writing. That will take you back to the main choice of the questions. So the final one I'm going to do is 22. Click on uh, number 22 and we've got question and the answer. Click on the green rectangular box. Yeah, and this is the bomb. There's only one bomb, only one bomb as a slide in this game. If you uh, want to, you can go ahead and uh, copy and add more bombs. But there are plenty of bombs in the choice slides, which makes this game go up and down a lot. So to go back to the main screen, just click on the actual GIF, click on the picture, and that will take you back to the main screen. That is about it. As I said before, this is a template. So just make the game as you want, writing your questions and writing your answers. This game has been surprisingly popular. I recently played it with a, a third grade class and I, I was quite shocked at how much they enjoyed this game. So anyway, try it out yourself. Uh, leave me a comment whether you like this game or not. If you think it's terrible, you're welcome to say so. 
uh, and if there's anything you would like me to change. And thank you very much and have a great day and enjoy your teaching. Bye bye.